Greetings and salivations, everyone. I'm Krista. This is Fisher, and welcome to Sea Rad. Today, we want to talk to you about a new Grogu Facebook hoax that's going around, so stay tuned. And hey, if you find that you like our videos and you want to see more, please subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us in the future. Sea Rad. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. Now, we all know that Grogu merchandise is really, really super popular, and there are a ton, ton of licensed items out there. This channel is just an example of all of the different and many, many things there are. And there's also a lot of unlicensed merchandise out there, and knockoffs, and fan merchandise. But every once in a while, there comes a time when there is a hoax or a scam. I don't know why people do this on social media. I guess, you know, maybe for popularity. Some people like the likes and the attention. And some people try to scan you out of your money. But I was scrolling through my newsfeed on Facebook last night, and something popped up that kind of piqued my attention. I was like, did I miss something? And of course I had to go do a bunch of research. But let me start by showing you this post that came across in my newsfeed. It says, The Child or Baby Yoda 11-inch Mattel version 2022. Now with feet and completely made of vinyl. And then here's the rest of the picture, guys. And I was like, oh, that's super adorable and cute. Mattel announced a new 2022, and I totally missed it. So I started doing some research on it. And of course, there were a bunch of people commenting on it. Well, where'd you find it? Where'd you get it? Etc. Etc. And the original poster was not answering anyone's questions. So that right there was a huge red flag for me. Now, this isn't a scammer because if it was a scammer, he would have been putting links to this item. However, I had to find out if it was real or if it was a hoax. So I headed to Google and I started doing my search. I was like, new Mattel 2022 Grogu, new Mattel 2022 Baby Yoda. New Baby Yoda doll, Mattel merchandise news. I tried all kinds of things, and I was not coming up with anything. And then I kind of went back to my roots of something I learned by watching Catfish. And many years ago, when that show started, Neve showed us how to do a reverse image search on Google. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to drop this photo into Google image search and see what I can come up with. And guys... Yeah, I found it, and it is not a 2022 Grogu Mattel the Child, all vinyl with vinyl hands and feet. I, I, I know it, you know, in my heart, I was like, no, I would have heard something other than this actual person posting this in just one Facebook group. So I had to take my research a little bit further and see what kind of knockoff this Baby Yoda was. And I found it, guys. It is available on AliExpress, which I know a lot of people use, and I guess it's kind of like Wish. I'm not 100% sure. Anybody out there familiar with AliExpress, let me know in the comments below. Have you had good experiences with it? Bad experiences with it? I just, I never have used it before until last night. Of course, I had to order one of these little guys and see just what I'm going to get. And I ordered him and he has shipped already and he's supposed to get here in 24 days. Yes, he is coming from China and should arrive here in 24 or less or more days. Now on AliExpress, I went in to do a little bit more research on my order and it says I can file a complaint after like March something 2022. And I was like, wow, I gotta wait all the way through March and this thing may not show up. And if it does show up, it's either gonna be fabulously cute because despite, I mean, look at this guy. I, he, despite the little dinosaur looking feet and the oversized hands, I do think he is totally adorable. He's supposed to be about 10 inches tall, made completely of vinyl, except of course for his robe. And he's a replica of the Mattel the Child, like Fisher. Like me? 
Yes, like you, little dude. So hopefully he shows up in the near future here and we can review it and I can show it to you. Now, of course, I had to comment on that post when say, hey guys, I found it. It's not a Mattel, it's this, and this is where you can find it. And before I knew it, the post was gone. So I don't know if this guy was planning on coming in and spamming people with a bunch of links to AliExpress for what could be his own company, or I don't know why he posted it. I don't know if he saw it somewhere else and was like, hey, check this out. I'm going to be the first person in this group to do it. I honestly don't know. When I went and looked at the poster's profile, it was a brand new profile, guys, which, you know, I have over 12 years of experience in Facebook fandom group management. I started doing fandom groups back during Sons of Anarchy, and I admined in a group for a little while, and then I kind of went off and did my own thing, and I grew it, and it was a great experience, guys. Check out some of these pictures. I had a blast during these Sons of Anarchy days and I had a lot of fun and got to go to a lot of events and my hard work as being a fandom group runner actually paid off because during the final season of Sons of Anarchy I was chosen as one of Kurt Sutter's uh, fandom winners so I got to go to the finale and you may have even seen me on TV if you were a fan and you watched the Anarchy afterward but that is another story for another time, guys. I've never really told it on this channel. But if you guys want to know more and you want me to do a video on it, let me know in the comments. And maybe I'll do a video about my Sons of Anarchy days for you guys. But anyway, back to the reason I am talking about that experience is because I've been running fandom groups, like I said, for over 12 years. I can spot a scammer, a spammer, a hoax a fake profile and you know all those things that go along with just nasty nasty things in Facebook groups from a mile away and I have my own Facebook group now for the YouTube channel it's called Baby Yoda Territory and I admin and moderate in a couple of other Baby Yoda groups on Facebook so with that experience I hope that we are making those Facebook groups enjoyable for everyone but I just wanted to let you guys know that as of right now, if you see anyone posting about the new 2022 Mattel the Child plush, or vinyl, or whatever it is, right now guys, it is a complete hoax. There is no official word on a new doll that is coming out. Now, should Mattel come out with something like that? Yeah, totally, 100%. I know everyone loves the little plush beanies like Fisher here and the ones without the legs and all the fun stuff that Mattel has put out. However, I think a full vinyl doll with the feeties and the hands would be totally, totally rad. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Let me know in the comments below. But guys, that's just my little lecture on that for you guys today. Always buyer beware. And, you know, if you see something and you're, like, not sure if it's a fake or a hoax or you're going to get scammed, and scams are a big, big thing on Facebook, guys, send me a message, leave me a comment, let me know, and I can take a look at it for you, and I can probably figure it out in a very, very quick time. And those of you who have known me and known me for years through the fandom thing, let the viewers know in the comments below how thorough I am with my research because, yeah, once I get my mind put on something, I do not let it go until I find out the truth. Because, guys, I'm really, really protective over my fandoms. I do not like false information being out there, and I don't like seeing people getting taken advantage of. I don't like seeing people being lied to. So, yeah, definitely, if you ever have a question about anything, reach out to me, and I will find out the answer for you. And if I cannot, for some reason, 100% find out an answer for you, I'll let you know that, too. 
So anyway, we've got reviews coming this week. I have a couple of video ideas for some other things. I didn't do a video yesterday. My apologies for that, but I just, I didn't have time to do anything. And I didn't want to throw up something really quick that was junk. But I am going back to kind of trying to do videos at least five or six times a week instead of the four like I was talking about if not seven days a week. So yeah, definitely stay tuned. But in the meantime, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome and totally rad things in the future, please subscribe to our channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, right, little dude? We'll see ya later. Hey guys, I just I just wanted to tell you, you like my sweatshirt? Yeah, Mandalorian has some shopping tips coming up in the near future on how you can find cool things like this to fit your little dudes and dudettes like me. So stay tuned. Alright, bye guys.